Hello, right. he's getting paranoid, so he's hitting it. <laughs> We're recording. So wait. Welcome. All Welcome. right. Hey guys, thanks for joining us again today on the Badass Branding Blab. Today we've got the adorable. I'm very like professional with the glass. You guys with the glass. <laughs> Uh, I feel like the amateur on the bunch with the <laughs> quasi good eye. Um, well, and is young and she has good vision. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going see. with. <laughs> uh, so we've got Miss Penny Fox, who is the gal behind <laughs> inner social media. -ness. Is that Sorry. Rocco? No, oh, that's yours. No, no, that's mine. Oh, hey. that's all right. Rocco. That's we're my used dog. To, we're used yeah. to the animals uh, making appearances. The menagerie. Yeah, see, there oh. we got the whole GI one. What do you want? Oh, oh, mine's a golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> Who loves to bark when mommy's live. That's what they love to do. That's yeah. what fur babies are good for, being shitheads when we're, when we're live. Yeah. He's been waiting like all day for this, and he says, okay, she's on now. Now no. I'm going to. That's what, what I'm saying. Marco? Yeah, that's when mine uh, chooses to puke. Like, usually it's like right oh. next to me, and I'm like, I'm just going to. I'm zoned out. I'm looking at the camera. I'm going to not acknowledge that you're puking right next to me. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, besides our fur babies, we are <laughs> talking with Penny today. Like I said, she is the gal from Inner Social media -ness, which I love the name. Uh, but we're going to be picking her brain specifically about, she's really a productivity uh, coach, small cool. business productivity coach. Um, who teaches people how to do social media smart, right? So none of the fluff, none of the bullshit, like it's the get her done style, which is why I love her. Um, she's got a new coaching program coming out where she literally teaches you how to pretty much dominate on Pinterest in 15 minutes a day, which we like. Nice. That's like a hell yeah, yes please. So <laughs> we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, pick her brain today more we talked to i know you know anna bennett penny we yes. love Anna. we had her on uh, a month or so ago and we talked oh, to her okay. about a lot of stuff but um i want to dive in with you more because there's so much goodness on pinterest we had i think you and i are in the same boat number one traffic driver yeah for you mm -hmm. yeah me too That's yeah. amazing. So, that, that made me pay attention because i was like pinterest oh yeah i was on at the beginning and i haven't but when you guys told me you were actually driving traffic from it i was like oh, oh. like by far cool. my my number one like nothing's wow. even come close to it so and it's the one i spend the least amount of time on but I set it up right, and that's what I really want to talk to you today about, Penny, um, yeah. because it really doesn't require a ton of management. It doesn't require a ton of time, No. but it requires a ton of strategy. So that's yes. what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about real, um, you know, put into place actionable things today, and then I want to talk about your coaching because it is really the icing on the cake, and it's really getting the one-on-one -on -one unique factor. But mm -hmm. um, so welcome. With that long-winded, okay. rambly intro that we like to give. <laughs> <That's okay>. uh, <laughs> so, all right. So, we just talked about it. Number one traffic driver, but why mm -hmm. Pinterest? Really? I mean, why is it such a, a go-to for bloggers and small business owners? I think it's mostly because um, we're visual learners, mm -hmm. and if we had a you know a choice to run a search on Google where we just have a bunch of text links versus yep. we're running a search on something and we see something where actually somebody's doing something that we're looking for, you know, we can see ourselves in that picture. I think that that's the biggest draw that that pulled us all in yep. to, to Pinterest. Um, but as I'm moving through this process and I'm learning more and more about it, which is why Pinterest is actually being set up the way that it is, people are coming to Pinterest with the intent to buy. Yep. You know? People are going to Pinterest to research, you know, everything from how to grow their blog to um, how to plan a birthday party, um, where they should go on their next vacation. So mm -hmm. people are actually using Pinterest as an opportunity to look for products, services, um, you know, things to buy. So I think that's one of the reasons why, um, you know, people are, are moving more and more towards Pinterest versus, you know, something like Twitter even though we can put, you know, like little images up there, but there's such a huge difference between, yeah. you know, a little 440 by 220 mm -hmm. image and a, ooh, let's say, you know, the 1000. Yeah. And I think the platform itself, Pinterest, has really, I mean, kudos to them because I feel like they yeah. built themselves into to a, um, a, a search, you know? So so mm -hmm. I think it's also the expertise because when I'm looking, like you said, to do anything, like whether it's like, you know, what camera do I buy? I go to Pinterest before I go to Google. 
And I look at the articles and then, then I go through that rabbit hole. Like you said, if I'm willing to buy something, you know, I found the camera I want from this blogger who had a great, you know, tutorial and out of box and talked mm -hmm. about the good and the bad. And then they have right. a link to go buy it. It's like, amen, here's, here's your affiliate kickdown, girl or bro, because thank you for what you did. So I also, hey, think, so it's, I also it's think it's a bubble, a bubble of, expertise of expertise that, that um, goes, goes beyond, beyond Google, Google for me. Do you I by any that. chance have headphones? Uh, Penny, because we're getting a little bit of an echo. No, I don't. Not right now. Okay. My, my, they they okay. kind of broke about a week ago. Okay, that's okay. We'll try to we'll we'll put our speakers down a little bit. Um, right. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so sorry guys. Well, maybe maybe it was Lou too. Because I'm not <laughs> hearing it right now. We'll blame it on him. Yeah, I blame everything on him. So feel free to blame it on him. <laughs> Um, that's that's why we have him here. He's just like I'm our, our, the scapegoat, our the blab yeah. scapegoat. Exactly. <laughs> all right. So let's talk about first things first. Okay. So we all, we're, okay, we get on Pinterest. What's the first thing we want? We want to actually be found. Mm -hmm. The secret mm -hmm. is what? Is what three little letters really like on Pinterest? The keyword. SEO. Yeah. The SEO yeah. keywords. Yeah. And it's amazing how similar now. Pinterest is becoming like Google, you yeah. know, think about how you want to get found everything from, you know, your account as pinners to our boards, to the pins that we're putting up, everything that we do, it's all about creating, you know, keywords and yeah. thinking about what are people typing in to find this? Yeah. And those are the keywords that we're using. You know, it's no longer cool to be mommy blogger. Yeah. You know, you have to like, say what you do and yep. um you know who you are and how you can help people because that's what people are searching for i actually have the word social media in my uh my pinterest name yeah so that yeah. when people anna you know, taught me that yeah all right so no forward. idea i was like what i have to brand it even in the name <laughs> right yeah so find so, you better that way and i don't think people realize that and when we see see say seo not hashtags right mm -mm. keywords Hashtags right. are not cool, right? On Pinterest, not, like not the not jam. Cool. Okay. Same yeah. for Instagram. Yeah. yeah. And Twitter. Yeah, just Instagram and Twitter. They, yeah. they used to be, and I think they tried them out for a while. Yeah. And I think that it just got a little overrun where people were putting them in places that they didn't need to be, you know, like board descriptions. Well, I was going to mm. say that it, it looks for it me and my work. OCD. Yeah, it looks it looked <laughs> awful and it made me want to click away. Like it just looked too spammy. And I mm -hmm. think that's what's epic about Pinterest is they are so on the ball with the spam. Yes. There's just not as much as any other platform out there. Yeah. Like they are on the ball with the spam and the hashtags. I, I was happy to see go away. And as soon yeah, as I too. see someone that uses them, I kind I judge. I'll ha I have to judge. I'm a judger. I'm a hashtag judger. <laughs> you are a judger. <laughs> You're still a judger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's me. I'll wear the name tag. I don't give a shit. No shit in my game. Uh, are people using um, Pinterest on mobile like they are with Instagram, Snapchat, mm -hmm. and all that stuff? Yeah, I think more and more people are actually um, shifting their usage to, to Pinterest on mobile. Mm -hmm. And what I find really interesting is um, what you're actually seeing on mobile is mm -hmm. different than what really? you're seeing on uh, desktop. Yeah, so talk to me about that. Let's talk about, so as far as boards and your profile goes, like what's the difference? Because we have to pay attention. Yes. Do you know the stat? I mean, most people, if, correct me if I'm wrong, are going on Pinterest for mobile these days, yeah. right? Mm. It's got to be at least 80, 85 percent. Okay, wow. that's what I thought. Yeah. I would say it's, it's a huge number. Fifty. YouTube's already way over fifty percent on mobile, so I figured Pinterest yeah. was. Yeah. 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 So what's happening now um, with our boards is, um, you know, when we go on desktop. And we used to think about, okay, you know, the first row of your boards, let's make them all pretty and put covers on them and make sure that you're, yeah. you know, you know, you're, 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 you got your first row and the one in the middle is the one that, um, that everybody's going to look for because that's how we, you know, we read, we look to the middle first, our yeah. eyes go right and our eyes go left. So that was like the strategy and everybody was worried about board covers on mobile. It has absolutely nothing to do. There are no board covers at yeah. all. You yep. do not support covers. And what you see when you go to hit somebody's account is um, the order of the last place that they pinned. Hmm. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. It is no longer the way that you had your top okay. one. So if you're, so, um, you know, so the last place that you pinned is you're going to be, if I were to go to, to Dre's account, the last place you pinned is the, the first board that I see. And it goes all the way down. 
in the exact order of you pinning. Does that include group boards or only my board? It includes, uh, yes, yeah, it, it just, it's, yeah, it's everybody's Every board, board that you're contributing to, it's everybody in that order. Board that you're contributing to, it goes down in that order. And so what I suggest to people, and this is what I do almost every single day, I make sure that I try to pin in my pinning session, my t something to my top boards. Mm -hmm. So when you go to my account, you're gonna see my, my top boards. Gotcha. Okay. You know, when you first log in, just like we did, you know, trying to put everything up in the first row, yep. we want to make sure that when I go to log in, let's say I'm looking up Lou and see, you know, let me see mm -hmm. what he's pinning and let me see his boards. Um, you know, so I try to get my top boards. I try to pin something to my top boards in my pinning session, usually like at the very, very end of my pinning session so that I know that it's going to go up. I was going to say, yeah, now I'm already like thinking how to trick it. Cause I'm like, okay, so I don't want the food. I don't want like when I get the munchies and I'm like adding shit to the yummy board to be like at the top, I need to like put one more branding like before I get off. So it's yeah. like the brand new oh, on top. I throw in a, um, I have like my, my big board, you know, where I put all of, everything goes there. My, my blog posts, yeah. uh, my workbooks, everything goes to this one board. I try to get at least two to three pins on that as like my last thing that I do before I log off. Yeah. And so that board's usually I up at the top. no side. idea. That yeah. is like yeah. a golden ninja in my head. And is that, is that recently with the algorithm? Is that what happened? Yeah. Yeah. That one switched over. Um, gosh, I want to say about six months ago. It moved over and it's like been a slow rollout. So mm -hmm. maybe you haven't seen it yet, um, but eventually everybody's gonna have it. But then when you go on the desktop, it's still the same as it was before, you know, everything okay. in the row and everything's set up the way we used to click and drag yep. our uh, boards wherever we wanted them in whatever order, you know. So so now, you know, people with that do like seasonal boards. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people were thinking, you know, there was this thing that we would all do like, okay, you know, six months before Christmas, I'm going to pin to my Christmas board mm -hmm. so that I have all this stuff on there. Yeah. So if it's springtime and your Christmas boards are going to be up top. Yeah. So you uh, guys, so now this becomes part of your pinning strategy, um, totally. knowing that more people are going to, to mobile and the way that they're seeing your, um, I guess it's the user experience is probably the best yeah. way I could describe it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, for mobile versus desktop, which, you know, is, is kind of new, but I don't think it's anything that we can't figure out and we can't, yeah, that you know, we can't work with. Exactly. I kind of like it. Out. I mean, if you think about it in the ways that, that you can control as far as, you know, a strategically, again, choosing those two to three boards that are going to be your popular boards that you're going to be adding the majority of to. And then, then it's pretty easy to make sure those, those three are kind of always at the top. What I wish, yep. my big request now that they're doing this is the whole, the same thing as Facebook or Facebook group, where you can pin one, either a board or inside the boards, pin a pin to the top that never moves. Like you can in like a Facebook group, yeah. pin something and it's always the first yeah, thing. Yeah. That would be my next request. Like, <laughs> let me just pin a damn Monty board to the top that is yeah. always at yeah. the top. That would be really so that cool. Could be like, yeah. So how are you guys driving traffic from Pinterest back to your website? So or where, where do people find you once they're on Pinterest? Yeah, hit us, up with, hit us up with that. Like, how are we getting the traffic from Pinterest? Oh, wow. Yeah. How are you minding um, that? How are you getting yeah. them from here to your website? Yeah. Oh, I think it has everything to do with the content. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything to do with the content. And? Um, every, yes. Branding. Being mm -hmm. recognizable. Pinterest is one, and correct me, but I can spot yours a mile away, Penny. Pinterest for me is like, I see the people that I know. And, and I the familiarity, you. yeah, and the authority that you can build on Pinterest by being, by people recognizing your shit. And I have people tell me that all the time. It's like, I see that gold and charcoal, yeah. or some people call it brown, it's charcoal people. But anyway, <laughs> uh, brown, your monitor is to be uh, a tweak spot. That's fine. Um, but when they see that, they're just like, oh, cool. You know, Dre has something else or something. And, and mm -hmm. the same thing with you, the same thing with Peg, the same thing with Rebecca, um, mm -hmm. Melissa from yeah. Nectar, uh, Olivia. Anna. Like, Anna. I'm, the one, and, mm -hmm. and you know that. Like, whether mm -hmm. you know who they are or you're in that, yeah. that industry, it's like, if you're recognizable on Pinterest, it helps your traffic. Yes. But you're right. But the content too, and and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Penny. How often you're pinning your content? I mean, the yes. fact that you can have different images for one blog post. So for you, Lou, like pinning your videos, and correct mm -hmm. me again if I'm wrong on any of this. 
I'm just talking from my own experience. I, I haven't seen a lot of success. I know you can pin videos, like you can pin mm -hmm. YouTube videos, but I haven't had a lot of success with that. What you need to do, Lou, is create an image yeah. and pin the image and then, you know, link it back. Really? To, yeah. But you can create I do different post images. Videos on Pinterest. Yeah. But I mean, create different images, you know, like two or three different images for one piece of content. So right. people don't mm -hmm. go, okay, I've seen that image 19 times. It's a different image. And it might take the second or third image to that content to get them over there. But okay. constantly throwing your pins out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like mm -hmm. more and more with the algorithm too, you can pin more of your own shit without looking yeah. at family because it's not in the order of what no. you pinned like, back in the day when they first came out. Yeah, we're, we're not like that anymore uh, because of something called Pinterest Smart Feed. Yep. yep. This, when Pinterest Smart Feed came in, and I think that Pinterest Smart Feed was the way that they were um, reorganizing because they knew that their buyable pins and their promoted pins and everything was going to come in. Mm -hmm. So Pinterest Smart Feed um, is that program that came in and I went, it was last year, I think yeah, is when it's I think you're right. And each one of us as pinners, um, we actually get like a ranking or a score. And based upon our score in um, Pinterest, that allows our content to be shown more often. So the higher your score, the higher you're being pulled into rotation with people who are not even following you. We're just looking for your content. And that score is based on the quality of your images uh, the source that your image goes back to, which is again, you know, going back to that that part you were talking about earlier, Dre, about trying to prevent spammers. Mm -hmm. So if you've got this beautiful picture of a sunrise and you click on it, and then I go back to something trying to, you know, here drink this shake and I lose yeah. weight in ten days, mm -hmm. yep. you know, that, that's that's going to bring the score down. That's a spammer. And the third thing that affects our score is how we use um, Pinterest. Okay. So all like these, in what ways? Like. So, I mean, like all of these, you know, um, schedulers are out there and they're like really awesome and they're super cool, you know, for people who don't, you know, have a lot of time to spend on Pinterest. And I get that. Um, but Pinterest wants us to use Pinterest. Mm -hmm. They want us to go in there and, and look up cameras. They want us to, you know, plan what we're going to eat for Thanksgiving and, and look for recipes. They, they want us to use Pinterest for the point of Pinterest being Pinterest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they actually are... I don't want to say they're tracking us in like a stalker kind of way, but yeah, we're all being tracked. Let's go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but it's, it's I can't like post from Buffer anymore. anymore. I can't post from Buffer to Pinterest anymore. You or can. Sure. I don't think yeah, she's saying that. Yeah. 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 It's just actually saying that at all. Go on and be active as well as scheduling, right? Like do a little like five to ten minutes a day of, of pinning yourself. And with Manual. the smart fee. That makes it so much better because back in the day, you know, you'd pin like I, I like I said, I'd get munchies or or I'd be like looking for like cat costumes. And it was like twenty. I you know, I would like bombard my my peeps with twenty cat costumes. It's like I feel awful, but I'm like fuck off. I need a cat costume. So you know, but now with the smart feed, nobody has to see your dirty no. little habits, and you don't even really need a smart you know a smart board for it because it's just not shown that way anymore. No, so. no. So what should no. we be posting ideally? both from a branding and just from a content standpoint. Uh, I'll ask both of you guys that. Oh, first, you want to joke? I'll go first. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I think that, you know, as far as what you should be posting has everything to do with who you are and what you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because what you want to make sure of is if um, people are using your account and using your boards as a reference and a resource. Yep. So if you go, you know, I mean, I'm like all about social media and productivity. So I've got like tons of boards, you know, I've got a Facebook board, and a Twitter board and a Blab board. And I've also got, you know, several organization boards and productivity boards and, you know, how to be a working mom and stuff like that. So those are the kinds of things that when I when you go to my boards, you see that, you know, oh, I can see what she does. You know, mm -hmm. I can see you know, I'm learning something from her. But on the flip side of it is and, and I and I get this question a lot, you know, what content should I pin? And I've actually read certain people say, well, I go to the, my interest on my analytics. And if it says I should be pinning recipes, then I pin recipes, mm -hmm. you know, but I, yeah, I, I, this yeah. eye roll. Sorry, I that was eye roll. That's an involuntary eye roll. That was like a <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if, if it's not something that's like a part of me and right. I'm just pinning it just to get followers, I think that is so wrong because it's, it's not going to get me followers in the long run because it's not something that I love. And you know, what's interesting is when we're pinning things, when we have boards for things that we love, 
we mm -hmm. pin more often, oh, totally. which goes full circle back into the whole smart feed thing of, you know, increasing our score and increasing our rank. So why would I want to pin stuff, you know, that I'm only doing it just to have people follow me, you know? So mm -hmm. I think as far as content goes, it's, it's like a combination of showing people who you are and what you do, as well as pinning for the pure sake of pinning, you know, yeah. I mean, why we all signed up in the first place. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I made the mistake, I don't know if you can see this, but I made the mistake of posting some quotes. So now one of my tags is Chinese proverbs. I'm like, oh great, that's what I wanted to be known yeah. for. Right, so go, yeah. All right, no more quotes. Yeah, no let's more quotes. give him a tip, don't go post <laughs> Chinese proverbs. Uh, real quick, I still wanna talk about that, but Mr. Wonderful is asking, uh, we actually tackled this at the beginning, should you use hashtags on Pinterest? Yeah. That is a big, eh, yeah. no. no, you should be using no. keywords. Not hashtags. Keyword. All about the keywords. And let's touch base on that really quick. Uh, back on that. Where should we be using keywords? Because I didn't understand as many places. Like we said in the name, in your name. So you can oh, have, yeah. you know, like what's yours? It's what is your exact name, Penny? Because I know you have it's, social it's media got, in it. Yeah, it's got my name in it. You have actually 37 characters. Yeah. Mm. And my name isn't 37 characters, even when you spell my name right, because most people don't have the, the two E's. E's in my name. Yeah. Um, so I put Penny Fox and then I put slash and then I put inner social media -ness in. And because that's the name of my blog, yep. plus when people run a search for social media pinners, I pop up. Whether you know how to spell my name with one E or two, yep. I still pop up. Yeah. So um, keywords in your name, that's really big because we all want to have a, you know, we want to get found. Um, keywords in our board names. Yep. Now, I know when we first started with Pinterest, it was really cute to be all cutesy with our board name. But it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did it too. Yeah. I, I did That's it where too. Anna kicked my ass. She's like, get the cutesy off. The kids gotta yeah. go. She's holding my can't, ass on cutesy. Yeah. It's, they it's, can't find you. Because I they're can't. not searching for those cutesy names, right? It goes back to this is really a search engine yeah. and nobody's searching for like fabulous, like <laughs> socially stuff. You know what I mean? Like they're searching like social media tips. Like it, it yeah. can't be mm -hmm. like, it has to be so clear and it has yeah. to be like a keyword. Like yeah. what are people typing in? And you know, there's a really cool trick that you can do um, with the, uh, with, with the, with the guided search, mm -hmm. you know, that the search bar that's on top of Pinterest. So let's say that you want to blag, you want to, you want to set up a, um, like a blogging tips board. You go up on the top of Pinterest and you start typing blogging tips and it like fills in things fill. that people are actually searching for. That's yeah. cool. So you can see this is blogging tips for beginners. So you can name your board blogging tips for beginners because you know that people are actively, I mean, Pinterest is telling us what to name our stuff. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> it's like the coolest thing ever. And yep. so you can also use that information and put that stuff in your um, pin descriptions. Yep. You know, as long as it makes sense, don't just write blogging tips for beginners if that's not what your blog mm -hmm. post is about. Right. But as long as you're, you know, describing what it is that your blog post is about, but you're using like those key words. I, I usually like when my um, my pin descriptions, I try to act like I'm talking to you. I'm having this conversation. So what would you do? You know, how do you feel about this? You know, as opposed to 12 steps to blogging tips. You right. Know, I, I like to add a little bit more like a conversation. And, and that actually, because I'm, I'm creating this like more of a three to four sentences, that gives me room to put in some keywords yes. so people can find me without me being so, you know, in your face, you know, 12 blogging tips, you know, beginners blog blab, you know, yeah. right after it. And it makes more sense that way. So yeah, less that would famous. be my, my thoughts. Definitely. Any benefit, any SEO benefits to putting videos on Pinterest? Cause I'm doing a lot of that just because that's what I do. I mean, if I'm going to do videos, yeah. I'm going to post to Pinterest too. So. You know, I mean, it used to be. I I, ha I haven't been hearing a whole lot about videos these days. I know when um, Pinterest first started that, um, you know, it was really cool. And you could actually see the video right mm -hmm. there in Pinterest yep. and you didn't have to go, you know, out, out of the program itself. Um, I'm not really hearing much about video, which mm -hmm. is interesting because everything yeah. else seems to be moving more and more into a live stream type of format. Yeah. And Pinterest seems to be pulling back on it. I mean, I don't know, Dre, have you heard anything about no, that's a, 
No, I'm just my personal experience and my own testing. I didn't get the traffic yeah. from the video pins. I got it from pins that were images that talked mm -hmm. about, you know, it said, you know, video tutorial or, yeah. web, you know, webinar replay or whatever, you know, the pin very clearly. And I even did some, um, you know, create an overlay, Lou, that, that looks like the video. So mm -hmm. it has the play button that's yeah. transparent over your image, but still mm -hmm. has the Pinterest size image, like the um, the right. call that the portrait size, um, mm -hmm. and and do it that way. I mean, like yeah. I'm always kicking your ass to make templates. Like you just need to make an image <laughs> template and not be lazy and just pin the video. Like we're gonna mm -hmm. kick your ass on that no, and get you to do it <laughs> because you're gonna get the traffic from what I've seen and from what the people I've talked to. The traffic's mm -hmm. not coming to because they're not watching on Pinterest. They still they want to mm -hmm. go to your site. They want to watch it large, right? You don't want to watch the video really small yeah. on Pinterest. It's just not user friendly for me. So mm -hmm. I would always use images to um, agree. promote. Yeah. yeah. So Jane's got a great Jane. question. She's already a fan and already part of uh, or read your ten thousand followers ebook, which she says is an ace. Hi, Jane. Uh, and so she's pinned the same image to five or six different boards at a time, but given what you said about mobile, is this still what she should be doing? Yes, yes, you should not stop doing this. Um, mm -hmm. your, your pinning strategy should not change at all. It's just that the, as a user, we're seeing our boards differently on mobile than we are on, um, on, on the desktop, but still continue to, to use that pinning strategy of pinning to the different boards because um, you want to rotate your content to people that that aren't already following you and group boards are just an awesome place yeah to, to get that connected. Seg segues mm -hmm. perfectly because we're running out of time but i want to talk about because this has been like lou you asked how are we driving traffic a huge right. part of my strategy has been group boards mm -hmm. because it allows you to be pinning constantly but it's not to your i feel like to my own boards it does get spammy and gets over and it's like if you're following mm -hmm. this you know branding your blog board i don't want to keep shoving shit under like you know branding inspiration and my other branding boards like i want them to be very dead on what the topic is and mm -hmm. a lot of people want to keep repinning their pins so they pin them to each of their boards but that yeah. gets really stale and old and that wasn't working for me what blew my shit up was group boards. So yeah. talk about those penny, like how do they work and what is really the, the boom juice benefits of getting on group boards? I think the benefit of group boards is the fact that we, um, everybody who's following the group board, the, our pins have the opportunity to be exposed to them, whether they're following us or not. Yep. So when we're all connected to this board, um, then we can all see this content and we have the opportunity to, and I can't tell you how many people that I have found on group boards that I eventually started following and then got connected to yep. because I, I love their content. Mm -hmm. So it, it gives you an opportunity to get connected to people who, who are already, um, you know, who are blogging or excuse me, who are pinning about this specific type of content. Yep. And that way um, you're able to, um, to get connected to some people. Um, I think one of the best things about group boards too is um, is the fact that um, the uh, start that sentence over again. Go the, best, <laughs> the best. I'm like reading questions. And stuff. I know it's hard to know. Don't worry, I have total squirrel <laughs> syndrome when I'm yeah. Like, don't oh, question. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <board active. laughs> yeah, with Jane's question about getting a new group board active. Yeah. Um, you know what the best word of advice that I could give to you. And, and this one drives me crazy when I'm trying to join a group board, give us specific information about how we can join. Yep. You know, don't just tell us what the board is about. Tell us, give us an email about how we can get invited. Tell us, this is me. I own the board, you know, put a comment down here below and I will, and give me your email and I will invite you, yep. you know, because when we have to start searching out people to grow our boards, um, it just, it takes so much more time. And I think that the best way that you can start growing your board is to make it so simple and easy for people to sign up, but mm -hmm. also make sure that they know and they understand what you're supposed to be pinning on that board. You know, uh, I always say this example too, that if it's a board about blog tips and, and you're like, you know, into dog resources, don't be pinning your dog stuff. 
Yeah, because nobody oh, I'm cares. A I am <laughs> brutal about my group boards. Yeah. Like, and I know, and it, that was another thing Anna taught me. Like, you yeah. know, because you, you you want them to tough. stay. Oh, oh she sure. is that girl is so tough, and she kicks my ass constantly. And that's honestly why I love her because she just does not sugarcoat shit for me. Uh, <laughs> But you want it to become a really epic resource for the topic mm -hmm. that it's on. Yes. And yes. so don't don't accept I'm gonna say what I said, don't accept yes. not everybody's a match. Like, you know, people yeah. will be mommy bloggers and, and I love them and they're great, but it's like, sorry, you're not a fit. I don't blog about mommy yes. shit. You know what yeah. I mean? So you have to be picky and you have to be diligent, but there's tons of ways to figure it out. You know, reach out to Facebook groups, do mm -hmm. a roundup oh, yeah. post about the mm -hmm. best, the other best mm -hmm. group boards that are mm -hmm. in your niche. Um, create an image that you have a group board looking for contributors and pin that yep. to other group boards that are in the industry. I yeah. mean, get yeah. creative about it. Um, but group boards to own, I would always say own one or two, right? And I would say become yep. active on as many that you can. But even that, like, be careful of that because there's so many bullshit that have like 500 contributors. But if you go through the board, not one thing. Like one person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but and not nothing's repinned. Like nobody gives a shit. Everybody's blocked that board because it's a big spam yeah. bulletin. And I yeah. hate that shit. So, you know, don't, because that's on your profile, right? As soon as you're part of a group board, it's on your profile. You don't want that to represent you. So be picky on both ends. When you're, when you're the host and when you're the contributor, like you want high quality, even when it comes to group boards, um, but find them in your niche because they have been magic yeah. for me. Um, I agree completely. So Ashley's saying, Wait, should I join question? any group board or or uh, some group boards bad for the brand? I think we just kind of touched on that. Like, yeah. you have to to research a little bit and look at the board and look who's pinning and look what the activity of the board is and make that determination. Like anything else that you're going to associate with your brand, like make sure it's high quality. Right. I agree. Cool. I agree. And Jane, and one last question is saying, uh, let's pin this. Oops, sorry. I'm like retarded at this too. So don't worry about it, Penny. No, I'm living the lines. We're like, badass brand name blab. Like, we'll just add more bees. We like alliteration. Um, so best to leave non-active boards. Um, yeah, I, I would have. say, yeah. yeah. It's like I'm I out. Have. Yeah, I'm brutal. I'm like, peace out later. You guys sucked. Um, it was I, great yeah. in here. I regularly assess my boards yeah. and see what's working and um, what's not. And I can always tell. And the best way that I can do it is when you first log into your account, there's that pins. Yeah. You know, you click on the pins and I can see where I'm pinning and I can tell the activity that's going on at that was my recent session to see how many people pinned it. What boards were I yeah. getting the most connection? And if I'm finding time and time again, nothing's going on. I, I'm out of there and I yeah. go look for something. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. And you oh want my to drop your link and contact info, yes, info for us before we wrap up? Yeah, tell us. We went over. Sorry, but there's like, I feel like we, I, I could ask you 15 That's million questions. more questions. I know. I could talk to you just for like hours. I know. Me too. I'm such a pinaholic. Um, but yeah, tell us quick about your coaching and then um, where people can get more deets on it. Because I know you're just launching that. Um, yes. And it's really unique one-on-one -on -one stuff, which is kind yes. of rare. Yes. Pinterest. Pinterest is very like the formulaic. Here's the form, like, and it doesn't work for everybody. Okay, we need one-on-one -on -one shit. So tell us how uh, you work with peeps. Um, I'm actually taking ten people in this session. It's called the Pinterest Traffic Builder. So it's PinteresttrafficBuilder.com. Okay. Um, pretty simple there to find me. Um, so basically, what it is is it's not like a bunch of videos and worksheets that you download. Um, I've been on Pinterest for so long that I have developed a process which takes me 15 minutes every time that I go into pin. And so what I do is I walk you through the process and we have um, group calls. Uh, we have three group calls. We're going to be together for four weeks. We get three group calls. Plus there's a one on one with just me and you. And I'm actually not on the phone with you. I'm on a, um, a program where there's a screen sharing. So we're not just talking about your Pinterest account. Right. I'm actually looking at your Pinterest account. Visual Ooh. creatures in the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I, I, can't, I can't imagine just sitting here on the phone and talking about something yeah. visual without yeah. you being able to see it. So um, we, we walk you through the process. And I basically take one of your pins and I show you um, everything on how to make the pin description better, where to pin it, how often to pin it and um, how you should be pinning it. And we basically set up this custom strategy for you and it's your strategy because it's not a template for anybody else because yep. you are who you are and you should be pinning where you should be pinning. And so the same 
is not going to be the same for Lou and it's not going to be the same for Trey. It's going to be different for everybody. Yeah. So you get a custom pinning strategy and then you take this strategy and you can use it with the rest of your content. Yep. So once we get the, 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 the strategy together, it's like after the second week, we still got two more weeks where we start tweaking it and we start making sure that everything's working. If you have any questions, um, you know, so we're always together. Plus, I've got some unlimited communication where if you get stuck, you can always email me or you can. Um, we actually we use Evernote. So you can Evernote message me. Plus, we've got a private Facebook group for questions. So it's not like any other Pinterest program because um, I just couldn't imagine not being able to work one on one with people. Yeah, so that's why I just I set it up a little bit differently. Yeah, that's why I was so excited about it because there's a lot of Pinterest stuff out there, but it's very, you know, here's their six videos and then go do it. And so many people, as you saw here, which is the, the 10 questions we got in the last, you know, 10 minutes, mm -hmm. people need individual attention on Pinterest. And, and it is a different strategy based on what you're trying to do in your business. So yeah. Penny is going to give you the one on one, like, about your unique brand. So I love that. Um, I hope that people will at the very least go to Pinterest traffic builder.com, check it out, see if it's the right mix for you and give out, shoot, shoot out an email in case people have questions on this before they jump into the program or anything so that they can ask you any questions or where should they find what social platform or something? Oh goodness. Um, Let's see here. Where? Uh, let's see. I can. Uh, let me. I'll type in my email address. Okay. I just cool. want to make sure people can ask you questions because I know that will come up on the, especially when it's one on one. They really want to make sure you're the right match. Awesome. So, thank you for coming, lady. I've been, we've been working on getting you on for a couple of months. I know. <laughs> so uh, I am really grateful for your time and all the thank Pinterest you. good shit. Uh, and for everybody in the society, I will be posting more information on the uh, Pinterest traffic builder later yes. today um, with another replay because this was full of epic shit. Very technical term that we used here. <laughs> uh, epic Don't shit. Don't get too technical so. on me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Very high. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. I know. I can tell. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's it for us today. Uh, we will be back same time, same next place Tuesday. next week. Talking LinkedIn. So, awesome. Thanks, bye, you guys. guys. Thanks. Bye, for now. bye, everybody.